Hey, what's going on guys? In today's tutorial, we're going to expand on what we discussed in a previous video on how to create number counter. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take our 20 second fusion composition clip to the fusion page. Let's bring in a text node. Then let's go to the top of the inspector panel. And then we're going to right click and in the menu, select edit controls. And then in this pop up window, we're going to first of all, change the name to something that makes sense to us. Then let's leave type at number, let's change uh, the page to uh, text, text page. And then for input controls, we're going to change it to slider control. But we're also going to select integer this time, which will ensure all the numbers we see will be whole numbers at all times. We're also going to specify the range here. So by default in DaVinci Resolve, you can only count up to 1 million. So specifying a range is great if you want to count up to a much, much bigger number. So let's go ahead and uh, put in 0 to 10 million. So this will ensure that we can count all the way up to 10 mil. Okay, guys, so let's hit OK. So now you will see this new control uh, show up on the text tab. And you can see now you can go all the way up to uh, 10 million. And what we're going to do next is to go ahead and set a keyframe here and then go to the end of this video keyframe again. And we're going to type in uh, 7 million uh, 654,321. All right, the next thing we're going to do, guys, is to go to the text box, right click, and then let's go to expression. And then we're going to start to extract all these numbers. So the formula we're going to use here is still string sub. But what's different is that instead of using positive index this time to extract number, we're going to use a negative index. So we're going to put in minus seven here. So that will help us extract the very first digit. Uh, in this number and let's also not to forget to put in our comma here and now we're going to go ahead and extract the next set of three numbers so let's use strings up one more time and we're going to start the index at minus six this time and then finish at minus four and then let's not to forget putting the comma uh, so now we have a six a seven six five and four all right, let's keep going. We're going to use a string sub one more time, and then we're going to start the index at minus three and then end at minus one. So now you will see all the digits show up here. And also the best part is that throughout this entire uh, video, you will see all the digits at all times. But one problem we have right now is that the commas themselves don't show up at the right place at the right time. So we'll fix that next. So in order to ensure the number we see on the screen lines up with the number we see in the customized control, what we need to do is to leverage the ride on feature here. So let's go ahead and the keyframe and we're going to bring down the starting position uh, all the way to the point where we only see zero. All right, so that looks good. And let's keep moving forward. So now we see that the next uh, number here, we're missing the first two digits. So let's bring the starting position back up just a little bit so that we see uh, 15. All right, so that looks okay. And now we're going to keep going forward. All right, so that looks good so far. And now at this point, we're missing once again the first digit. So let's bring back or bring up the starting position one more time. All right, that looks good. Uh, so I think we should be good for a while here. Now we're missing the first digit of the uh, 1 million. All right, so let's uh, bring the starting position all the way back up. So now, guys, you see that throughout this entire video, not only do we see all the digits at all times, the comma also show up at the right place at the right time. Now let's just go ahead and take it back to the edit page, let it render. All right, guys, uh, so this is it for this video. In the previous video, I know you guys brought up a couple concerns that I think are very interesting, and I thought I would address them here in this video. So as always, I hope uh, this tutorial helps, and I will see you next time.